And that's something that Jason has encouraged in this is that there are always sort of conversations that are happening to kind of keep it really naturalistic. And then sometimes there have been scenes where we're not really scripted to say anything, but we'll come up with a little miniature scene or something, and he'd say, yeah, great, like, let's catch that. So there might be some sort of off-the-cuff created moments that make it into the final cut, too. Jason is very collaborative. Um, it's It's been wonderful working with him, and I've never had an opportunity, for instance, I have a scene where I'm on a phone call, so I was really the only person in the room because the other person on the other end of the phone call is another scene. And to, to feel like you can completely put your trust in this person, in their eye, in their ability to f pull the best performance out of you is wonderful. That's all you want as an actor, is just to feel like, oh, I can relax. This person knows what they're doing, you know, they're, they're my captain. It was good. We did this um, live read of The Princess Bride last night, and an older woman stopped me on the street, and she said, I'm sorry, can I just ask you, is Hugh Jackman as nice as he seems? And we were like, ma'am, he is so much nicer than you could even imagine. It blows our minds. Um, it's not hard to to play, you know, his staffer and have this kind of hero worship and want to put everything in your heart and soul behind this guy because that's just the sort of person that he is. I mean, I think, like, the entire campaign staff on day one was like, I would take a bullet for that man. He's just, he's like, incredible. I don't know, that's a difficult question. Because, I mean, obviously there's, there's a certain element of reflecting upon where we are now. As I said, the political scandal of Gary Hart in 88 just pales in comparison with what we've seen in the past 30 years.